Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I am so happy that you are here with me today. This is your weekly reading for October 21st to the 27th. So we are going to get right into your reading. Now uh, we are going to start with your incoming energies. So let's find out what this week has in store for you. Now, please remember that this is a general reading. Take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. Now, if parts do resonate, please consider leaving some comments. Let me know that the, uh, that the energies in the reading is actually connecting with your energies. I appreciate it very much and, uh, and let's go here. Let's get ready. So, Spirit Angels Guides for the beautiful sign Sagittarius. Incoming energies for the week, the 21st to the 27th, in and around that week. There we go, two just wanted to come out right together. There we go. All right, I'm gonna read what they are, but we'll get more into details after. So you got number six, third eye chakra. So it looks like things might be aligning for you where your intuition is concerned, meaning that this could be a very, very, uh, prosperous time for you with your inner wisdom and your intuition and, and using that as a guiding light. And then you got number three, partnerships and alliances. So we will get into those in just a moment. Let's start at the bottom of the deck. This is your current energy. So the energies that you're bringing into this week's reading, things that you know maybe, maybe were kind of passing through last week and something that's still sort of lingering. So let's find out. We're gonna go three back here. So you've got number 14, patience, number three, the solar plex chakra, and number five, conflict and defeat. So with the number 14, patience, that is the temperance card in the traditional deck. So again, this is really your energy coming through in your reading this week. Patience, of course, everything, sometimes we have to really, you know, accept things in divine timing. Sometimes we have to be a little bit patient. And even though that can be very challenging sometimes, uh, there might be necessities for it. Maybe there are things that, you know, need to be accomplished, stepping stones for something and the right timing, you know, is going to help things unfold a lot better. With this patience card, which is your temperance card, this is a lot to do with balancing out your energies as well, bringing more harmony and peace into your life. And sometimes that requires some you know, some careful planning. And sometimes it really is just about weighing thing, like waiting the time out. Now I'm seeing with this number three solar plex chakra that you are really um, feeling very confident. Again, you know, your confidence is really uh, shining through here. I think it's also linked very much to your incoming energy, which is that third eye chakra. So again, you've got two chakras that are in, in, line, in alignment here. And I believe with the solar plex being your, your, your sense of confidence, your courage, um, how you express yourself, um, you know, your positive disposition, I think is also allowing you to receive messages spiritually as well. So I think this is going to be a very strong week for you to be receiving a lot of spiritual guidance. Now it looks like you do have had some conflict and, and defeat. So you feel as if you may have been defeated in some way, or there could have just been some conflict that's been circulating around you. I think that this is something that is actually coming to a close. I, I believe that the patience that you have been, um, you know, this patience that you have really been trying to maintain is actually paying off for you because although you feel it's been somewhat of a conflict for you, maybe having to hold back, it's actually something that's uh, setting things up with more courage and more strength. So again, uh, there could have been something that you feel that you know, you've know you really been conflicting with. And again, that could be <clears throat> conflict with work, with relationships, with people around you, situations around you. And of course, it will be different with each of you because everybody uh, everybody's energies are different. So with your incoming energies here, we've got number six, third eye chakra, which again is all about your intuition. I think it's really in line with your solar plex chakra right now, meaning that again, you have this heightened sense of spirituality and I think you are receiving messages that are going to help you release you from any sort of conflict that you may have been feeling. And then you also got three partnerships and alliances. So I think that you are working 
um, beautifully with people around you. I think you have a lot of uh, support around you, supportive connections, whether they be friends, business associates, family members, um, it could even be love partners. But again, I feel like you are working hand in hand in unison with somebody. I think your energies are really blending nicely. And I think intuitively you could be both on the same page in a spiritual level, on a spiritual level as well. All right. So with those energies, now let's get into your nine card spread here for your uh, tarot cards. I'm going to get all nine cards and then we're going to go row by row and we're going to go more into detail. All right. For Sagittarius, what are the incoming messages for the week? For the first row here, what can you share with us? We've got the first card there. We got the second card and the third card. Very interesting. So you've got the five of wands. We've got the number eight strength and we have got the five of swords. We have very, um, these are repeated energies to what is happening in your current energies. All right, let's get the second row. Let's find out what's happening. There we've got the first, the second, and the last one. You have two cards together here. All right, the first card here is the beautiful Ace of Wands. In the center of your reading, we have number 20, Karma. This is the Judgment card. And then to complete this row, we've got the number two High Priestess, not shocked to see this in your reading, and the Seven of Wands, and those two came out together. Let's get the final row, and then we are going to break everything down. All right, so let's get this final row for you, Sagittarius. We've got the one there. And get that a second card, beautiful. Look at your own card showing up here, the Jupiter, a uh, wheel of fortune is ruled by Jupiter, and of course that is your ruling planet. So to complete the final row here, we've got the 10 of pentacles, beautiful, leaving a legacy, working very hard towards success. You've got another 10, the wheel of the year, Jupiter, and then you've got the page of pentacles. So it looks like cycles may be changing for you financially here. I'm seeing just from the over, overview here of your cards before we go into grave detail, you know, uh, I am seeing again, your intuition is really something that's guiding you this week. I think you are really feeling old energies that you are ready to, to kind of put to the side and you're ready for a new energy to, to, to explore some new opportunities because again, things are transforming for you. I think that you have been conflicted and I think that you've been feeling a little bit like maybe certain things in your life you've, you've felt like you've been defeated. Uh, it's actually just a stepping stone for more success in your future. You are ready for, uh, like I feel like you are almost on the brink of a whole new you, a whole new transformation with opportunities that are actually going to be flying in for you that are changing cycles in your life. Okay, now that we kind of got the overview, let's go into detail. So we're going to start with the Five of Wands here. The Five of Wands is some conflict. Conflict, of course, we have conflict in your energy here as well. The Five of Wands, though, you are conflicting with Wands. So it could be some competition. Maybe you are feeling a little bit that you're, you're in a competitive market right now. Maybe you are feeling that you know you could be going for a job and you're really feeling that, um, that, that there is a lot of competition for what it is you're applying for or striving for. Uh, competition can sometimes be healthy competition. Sometimes it helps bring out our strengths and I think in your case here with the next card being that eight, uh, the eight, the strength card, which is Leo energy, I, I believe that you do have a lot of strength. I think that, uh, I think that this is very much um, in line with your, your um, warrior disposition. I think that you don't back down from challenges and sometimes competition for you gives you that sort of leg up and it really gives you again that inspiration you need to really get things motivated. Uh, again look at you've got uh, limitless and endless possibilities with the infinite sign over top of her head there and you've got this beautiful lion who is peaceful showing that you've got a lot of courage and strength. And then the last card in the row here is the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is this conflict and defeat. It is the same card. It is of the mental suit. 
And you can see that there are transformations taking place here too. So even though that there have been some conflicts, and I think some of the conflict is in your own mind. I think that you could be feeling, uh, you know, you could be your own worst enemy sometimes because of the thought processes. And again, if you're feeling a little bit of competition, uh, you know, with a, a job search or with a job that you're going for, um, the Five of Swords could be just messages that are sort of playing in your head. And, you know, you, you, you have to really remember that you have so much strength uh, and don't let your thoughts change your course of action. Before we get into the rest, we're going to now clarify each one of these. We're going to start with the Five of Wands. So let's find out what this healthy competition is. That one landed right on there. So I'm going to take it. And it does have something to do with work. There's no doubt. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. So it shows that you have a lot of hard, that you put a lot of hard work and determination into everything that you do. Whether it's work that you get paid for, whether it's work that you put into relationships in your life, hobbies into your life, everything is done with extreme detail and it makes you a master at what you do. So you, again, you could be feeling a little bit of conflict where work is concerned and it could be because you are, maybe, maybe you're striving to uh, level up in your career and there is some competition around you and you're feeling, um, you're feeling, but I, I feel like you're really feeling a lot of mo, um, you're really motivated and you really have a great sense of determination and you have a lot of ambition. So I believe that that's what's really going to help you here. I also think with this as well, yes, there could be other people that could be maybe going for this position as well, um, or they could be, you know, energies that are circulating around you but you are a master at what you do, meaning that you do have a leg up. All right, now we're going to get a clarifier for the strength card. So remember in the middle of this is the strength that you hold. Your solar plexus, your, your solar plexus and your confidence is very strong right now. That's just helping boost your confidence even more. And look at that, we've got an ace of wands. You've got the Ace of Wands twice in your reading already. So definitely I feel like there are opportunities that are flying in for you. I think that there is something, uh, your energy again is transforming and I think opportunities that you, you have maybe grasped onto in the past, you know, are changing. And I think there's something new. It's almost as if you have this whole new sort of creative um, spin happening. And I think that you are really starting to maybe, some of you could even be changing up drastically uh, what it is that you want to do with your life. And this opportunity is presenting itself for you. So you've got a lot of strength to keep motivated with this new opportunity that is bringing you um, choice. Again, there's choices here. I think there might even be two opportunities. Maybe that's why you're feeling a little bit of that conflict is because it's not just one opportunity. There may be a multiple opportunities. And then again, that leaves you with, with that choice to have to, to think about what is going to be the best choice for you. Hence why you could have this five of swords energy, feeling a little bit of conflict, mental conflict, because now you're put in a position where you're having to really figure out what is the best course of action for me at this time. So it's actually a nice conflict to have, especially if you are deciding between two opportunities. So let's see, wow. The energies that are flying through for you today are absolutely beautiful. The Six of Wands, this is very much Leo energy. Again, we've got a lot of Leo. So, you know, it's your time to shine. And Leo is actually your ninth house. So the ninth house is all about travel. It could be foreign travel. It's about adventure, it's higher education. So some of you really could be looking at a higher, like educating yourself, getting more of a degree um, to really level again your, uh, uh, your opportunities even more. So you're elevating your life experience here. Um, again, it could have to do with religion, spirituality. It's a little bit more about risk taking. So again, you know, with having a lot of Leo in, in here, that is your ninth house. So it's all about seeking information, seeking. So this is the card of victory. So I feel like you are really feeling as if, if you've been conflicted about going back to school or, you know, again, maybe exploring more options with, um, with your work and seeking out more education, this is going to be a perfect time to do that. 
Uh, this is absolutely beautiful energy. And, you know, again, you're not afraid of any challenges. You're not afraid of the five of wands. You're not afraid of being challenged in that way uh, because the hard work, you know that your hard work and diligence pays off. All right, let's get the ace of wands in the second row. Again, more opportunities. Uh, these could be opportunities that are landing in your lap. Let's see. The Four of Chalices, very interesting to come along with this Ace of Wands. Four of Chalices is the Four of Cups. As you can see from the illustration, there's rain coming down. You are sitting in a window, looking outside, and you look very bored, dissatisfied. It's like there's just, there's just something just doesn't fit with you anymore. And emotionally, you feel like you need a new experience. And I think this is what is happening here. You know, you really are looking and outsourcing new opportunities to change your emotional connection with your choices in life. And I think that this new opportunity is going to be something that you are really going to want to seek out uh, because it's going to be something that changes how you feel emotionally. I think that you are feeling a little distant emotionally with, with certain aspects of whether it's your career. And for some of you, the opportunities could be with relationships, you know, whether they're platonic or love. Um, you know, there's just a little, it's almost as if everything is kind of hum and drum. I guess that's kind of a way to put it, you know, like there's no excitement, there's no adventure, you know, and, and, and you're looking for that. You're seeking that right now. So let's see how those transformations take place because in the center of your reading, you've got a whole new re renewal here. It's like you are ready for a refresh, a restart. There are things from your past that maybe you need to let go. So by this, which is traditionally the judgment card, you know, you are judging, somewhat judging and reevaluating your life at this time because you want to see things differently. You want to experience things on a completely different level. And the only way sometimes to do that is to reevaluate our past, put something to close, and then get this nice new refresh restart. So let's get the clarifier for number 20, the karma card. And you got the three of chalices, which is a celebration. This three of chalices can be comparable to the partnerships and alliances with the number three in your incoming energies. So again, you are surrounding yourself with people that, you know, that are very important in your life. I think they are going to prove to be very important in your life. And there is a sense of celebration here. So I do, do believe that, that these opportunities that are coming in for you are things that are going to bring you a whole new, it's like a fresh set of eyes and a, and a new sense of renewal. So a new, um, a new way to, uh, to begin a journey. I think there's a journey that is really starting for you that is bringing you so much um, accomplishment and success. And look here, if you even look, you've got the three of chalices. So we've got the three people here, but you've also got in the karma card, three people up at, staring up at the moon. So again, you know, we just had a full moon um, in Libra on the, um, on the 17th. So again, you know, you, you, you are closing out some things from your past and you're bringing in a new, maybe even new partnerships, new connections, people that support the things that you want to do. You are surrounding yourself with a creative energy and it is a time to celebrate and bask in this moment. Enjoy this moment. All right, so in the bottom here, we've got number two, High Priestess, and we've got the Seven of Wands. Again, the Seven of Wands is Leo energy. So again, we're seeing a lot of Leo energy here. The High Priestess is your intuition. We talked about that in the beginning with the third eye chakra. Again, this is a very um, spiritual time for you. And again, a lot of you could be exploring your spirituality and your religious beliefs a, a lot more. You're seeking more information. Maybe you are looking to travel a little bit more to gain those experiences. You are standing your ground and you stick up for yourself. You stand up for your beliefs. Um, you know, you set boundaries where need be. Uh, you are a warrior, uh, and I think that you are um, intuitively, you know, feeling very strong in your convictions, and you're very feeling very strong about the path that you're going on. And I think that it's um, it's something that is really uh, helping you to explore new options and opportunities. Let's find out with the High Priestess and the Seven of Wands. Let's see what's happening here. We'll get a we'll get a clarifier. 
and you've got the five of wands again. So again, we've got the five of wands twice. You've got four fives in your reading. I believe that that is all about change. So five, 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 five. So again, a lot of things are changing and uh, around you right now. So your whole environment is changing. Even the people that you surround yourself with, your connections could be changing as well. Uh, feeling a little bit of competition here, hence why um, if there is some conflict that's happening, you are definitely standing your ground with that with the Seven of Wands. Uh, you are following your intuition and if that intuition tells you that it's time to stick, stick up for yourself, it's time to uh, you know protect yourself, uh, you are very much going to do that and you're not going to do that with any question. You are feeling very confident and determined in that sense as well. So nothing can hold you back. No sense of competition is going to hold you back from what it is you want, what you want to achieve. Now we've got this beautiful Ten of Pentacles. Now that's just absolutely beautiful. Time to celebrate, absolutely. I believe that you are, um, I think that you are maybe choosing a direction in your life that you will leave a legacy. For some of you, it really is very grounded energy. It's practical. Uh, you're, very, you're being quite practical with the things that, uh, you know, the things are circulating in your life, but I think you're trying to build a really strong foundation. Whether that foundation includes a family, um, it could be to do with home, it could to be to do with work um, or career. Again, it's, uh, this is, this is a, uh, an abundance on every level here. So let's find out. Let's find out with the Ten of Pentacles. What your spirit angels and guides would like to share with you with the Ten of Pentacles. And you got number 13, which is the death card. So there's a cycle in your life that's ending and there is a new cycle beginning. For some of you, you definitely could be leaving a legacy. Uh, there could be, for some of you, there could be uh, uh, an inheritance of some sort. That could be just for a very small portion of you. It could be something, this inheritance could be something that actually helps to uh, give you a new start and lease on life. It could be something that you can actually put towards your foundation and stability. Um, I think that some of you, again, your life is transforming on such a drastic, drastic level right now with number 13, the death card. Um, you know, we do have Pluto going through a lot of transitions as well. So again, you know, um, um, it makes sense for there to be these, these transitions happening around you as well. The Ten of Pentacles, though, this is transformations that are bringing you a lot more wealth. They're bringing you a lot more, again, a, a lot more of a st solid foundation. So if there is something that you are working towards here, it could be just baby steps towards it. It's, it's really proving to, to set you up for extreme success in your future. Now we've got the cycles changing here with the 10, the wheel of the year. Let's find out what's happening with this wheel of the year. Wow, it's like you've got two wheels here. <laughs> you've got the fool, which is also, he is, he is ready for an adventure. And remember, we were talking about how you're kind of dissatisfied with the way maybe things are. Maybe things are a little status quo right now and you're looking for that sense of adventure. You're seeking that out. With this being the uh, Jupiter, being the sign of Jupiter, uh, you know, this is very much in line with who you are right now. This is about you. This is yourself. It's like the first house here. It's your physical body. It's how you look at yourself. It's how you see yourself. Um, it's your self-image. It's your philosophies on things. You know, again, um, it really is... It really is a, a lot to do with your self-awareness. And I think that cycles are actually at that time. It's a pivotal time for you to see that cycles are changing for you. I think you're bringing about a completely new energy. So this is a whole new you that you are, that, that you are inventing. It's you, like you're reinventing yourself here. You're reinventing the wheel. Actually, that's kind of the best way to say it. Um, so chapters close out, cycles close out so that new energy comes in. Limitless and endless possibilities are definitely the key to your reading this week. Don't hold yourself back from your thoughts. Sometimes our thoughts hold us back from, um, um, sorry, from moving in new directions. Don't be afraid of taking a leap of faith because now is the time. You are setting the wheels in motion for change. Now let's get to the last one, the Page of Pentacles for you, Sagittarius. Let's find out. Page of Pentacles and you've got the Eight of Chalices. So it looks as if they're, uh, with the Page of Pentacles, it is like an opportunity. I always see pages or princesses, again, no gender with any of the cards, as messengers. They are in their infancy stage, meaning that it's like a new fresh message that's coming and it's something to do with your finances. It has something to do with things that, you know, are, are very tangible. So it can be, again, it can be a message about finances, about work, about career. It can be about advancements. It can be about education. 
It could be about a, it could be about a certain investment that you've made, but I feel like it is a message that's coming. And that message is something that is going to give you the strength and courage to walk away from something that you feel you've been conflicting with. So hopefully by the end of this week, with all the transformations that are taking place, with all the cycles that are changing in your life, you are going to prepare yourself emotionally to allow yourself to walk through a new door, a new door that brings you much more emotional satisfaction and gratification. Um, you're not feeling that right now with the Four of Cups. You are looking for something new, which means there could be something in your life, especially if you've been feeling a lot of conflict around you, that it's time to close that door, walk confidently through the door, and allow whatever from the past that has hurt you to, to let that go. Allow this new message of prosperity to give you the strength to be able to do that. All right, Sagittarius, now let's get your spirit and angel uh, card here. Let's find out another message that the angels would like to share with you. All right, for my beautiful Sagittarians, what is the message from the angels here? What would you like to share? We've got one there, and then we've got two. Oh, we've got three. All right, they want you to have three. We're going to take them. So the first one here you got is number 31. So it's called, it's, what it's saying is reality check. And we all have to do this every once in a while, especially when things are changing astronomically around us. It's assessment, right? So we're assessing everything. Exploration, so you're exploring and seeking out new information. Honesty, so again, it's about being honest with everything as well. And determination, and absolutely, you have so much determination. There is no conflicts that you cannot, you, you weather the storm. So you are going to be able to, to be able to walk away from conflicts that no longer emotionally serve their purpose anymore. I think there's new information and new, um, new experiences and opportunities offered up for you and they're coming into play for you and right now it's really you do sort of have to do that reality check just to keep yourself grounded and then you got number four Haniel silver so when colors come up I think that that is also a, a message from your angels so if you do see anything silver or if it catches your eye something silver it could be coins if uh, coins are silver in any way um, they could be messages from the from your heavenly spirits as well goddess psychic sacred and proud again showing a lot of pride and you should you should be very um, feeling a lot of pride because you need to be proud of all of the accomplishments that you've even up to this point what you've been able to accomplish has been absolutely amazing um, things are very sacred to you you hold them very you, you know they're very important to you and i believe that you do have a lot of psychic intuition and psychic powers within you as well and i think it's very heightened it's what helps guide you and i think you trust in that guidance and you got number seven uh, 37 soul groups so these are messages so these are messages that are coming through reunion so again there could be some re you reuniting with partnerships and alliances people around you maybe you're celebrating with some people re reuniting and connecting with people and it is all about validation look at all of these beautiful colorful um, hearts uh, your heart is open to be receiving uh, love unconditional love and you are connecting on the right levels these messages could be messages that are coming spiritually as well. All right, let's get your secondary angel num angel message. The self-care came out, so I'm going to put it back in, but self-care is always important, especially if you're going through all of these changes right now, Sagittarius. It might be a good time for you to pay attention. Pay attention to your health. Make sure that you are eating well, sleeping well, um, and, and taking some time out for yourself. Absolutely. So let's find out. Spirit Angels guides the message. All right, so you got obstacles, and we know that you have obstacles because they have been in your reading, in your current energies, and in your incoming energies. So, obstacles are now falling away easily. The angels remind you that you are a highly capable person, and there is nothing that you can't overcome and achieve when you set your mind to it. 
The obstacles you have faced are lessons which have taught you about your own strength and resilience. Absolutely, hence why you got that strength card right in the beginning there as well. Just a reminder from your angels. And now let's close your reading off with your angel number. I want you to keep in mind that you got, um, you got the number eight uh, a few times here. We've got the eight and then we've got the eight of strength, the eight of pentacles and the eight of chalices. So eight, eight, eight. That is a lovely um, indication and synchronicity from your angels as well. So eights <clears throat> and fives. So let's see what the angel number message is for you. And look at that, how that landed. 1818. 18. So you've got some eights there as well. Will power. So achievements, success, striving forward, prosperity, go-getters, courage, and luck. Wow. Significant events are on the cards for you. You will progress in your endeavors and gain new experiences. The right people and resources will be put on your path. An excellent proposal or change is coming up. You're destined for greatness. Your whole reading, your whole reading has definitely, this is a great way to sum up this entire reading. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for joining me today. I hope that you find uh, meaning in the messages that we received today. If so, of course, please leave comments. Let me know so we can connect. Uh, please also consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you so much for all your love and support. And until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.